Sidereal days and solar days. This is what I'm going to cover in this short film. Sidereal days and solar days. And I'm going to start with a sidereal day. And that's how long it takes for the Earth to spin once on its axis. And actually it takes 23 hours and 56 minutes for the Earth to turn once fully on its axis. And we can consider that or look at that by um, with this little demo here. So we've got Earth, we've got the Sun, and we've got distant stars down here. And if we consider this person with the red arrow to start with, and just have a look at where they're facing. So they're facing the distant stars over here. They're facing straight off to the right of my page. And if we start to let the Earth rotate, here it goes. It actually takes 23 hours and 56 minutes for that person to be facing straight over there again. So straight towards that, those same distant stars that they were facing the night before. It takes 23 hours and 56 minutes. And that's what we call a sidereal day. So there's some notes there to jot down for a sidereal day. One sidereal day is the time taken for the Earth to spin once on its axis, 23 hours, 56 minutes. And we can work that out, that time out, by looking at the distant stars and knowing how long does it take me to face that same star that I'm looking straight over there tonight. How long would it take me to see it uh, in that same place again? And it takes 23 hours and 56 minutes. That's a sidereal day. What about solar day? So let's go back to our little demonstration here. A solar day, let's step back here, is how long it takes for us to do um, face the sun again, effectively. So if I was to consider the person here on this, um, over here, looking at this blue arrow here, and that person at this point of the day, look, they're facing directly towards the sun, straight towards the center of the sun, along that blue arrow, how long does it take for them to be facing the sun again? Well, you might say, well, hang on, surely that's 23 hours and 56 minutes. You've just shown me it's rotated round once and it takes 24 hours, 56 minutes. But let's watch carefully, because actually what we have to remember is whilst the Earth is rotating on its axis, it's also orbiting around the sun. And in a day, it will orbit a small distance around the sun. So let's start my rotation on its axis but remember I need to make sure that I make that Sun orbit a little bit as well and I'm, I'm slightly exaggerating how far it's orbited but if I stop there look my person looking down the red arrow is facing straight towards those um, that, that direction off the right hand side of my paper again so that took 23 hours 56 minutes but the person here who we were expecting to be facing straight towards the sun again isn't. And in fact, we have to wait for the Earth to rotate a little bit further before they're now facing back towards the sun again. And that little bit further from there, where he's facing those same distant stars, to there, where he or she is now facing midday sun again, takes four minutes takes four minutes longer. Four minutes longer than 23 hours and 56 minutes is 24 hours, and that's where we get our solar day. Now I exaggerated this movement a little bit. In fact, it's only a small bit. If you imagine, here's the whole um, orbit of the um, Earth around the Sun. It takes 365 days to go all the way around there, so it's roughly one degree a day. Really, I should only have moved it on one degree in that time, but I exaggerated a bit. And it's that little bit extra turn that it has to do for that blue arrow to face towards the centre of the sun again that takes those extra four minutes for a solar day. So a solar day, and we also call this a synodic day. Jot this down. One solar day or synodic day is 24 hours and it's four minutes longer than a sidereal day.